Oh, oh, oh. If you're like me, you're loving the fall. I got the fleece out. I got the jeans out. It is just so comfy. Mm. And if uh, you love fall, the other thing that fall brings is three uh, uh, chances for you to see me and Jenny. And on the West Coast, you can see Fumi uh, at our different live things happening. So uh, October 14th, um, there's going to be our Hack City stand-up show. That's uh, at, Ca at, I'm sorry, that's at uh, Union Hall uh, in Brooklyn. So you can check that out October 14th. Uh, October 20th, if you're in Los Angeles, you can see uh, Hack City West Coast. That's with Fumi. That's at Hotel Ziggy uh, in uh, West Hollywood. And then on October 28th, we're doing a live uh, uh, Asian on Asian podcast. So we're going to do a live uh, taping. It's, that's going to be at Caveat. Uh, that's in Lower East Side in New York City. That's also going to be live streamed. Okay, so uh, you can get tickets for all that in the episode description. Again, that's October 14th, Hack City stand-up show. October 20th in LA, Hack City uh, in West Hollywood. And then October 28th, a live uh, episode recording that's a caveat uh, and uh, yeah come check us out bring the kids maybe don't bring the kids but bring yourself and bring some good friends and come hang out with us man we'll see you soon but what I would say recently is now I feel sometimes with stand-up the art form it's like it it limits me because sometimes I'm subjected to what the audience sees I, I want to joke around about Dungeons and Dragons, you know, but like it's hard to bring that to the stage sometimes with, you know, just, I don't know, my persona or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it I feel sometimes restrained. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Asian Not Asian podcast. Uh, I'm your sexy voiced host, Mike Nguyen. <laughs> and I'm your normal voice host, Jenny Arimoto. Uh, we're coming at you from uh, Brooklyn, uh, New York City. Uh, welcome. This is the uh, podcast with all your favorite Asian friends. Um, and uh, we're, we're going to start off with just a couple Patreon shout outs. What is Patreon? Patreon is the best way to support the podcast uh you just go to patreon.com slash asian not asian pod <laughs> can i just say something yes this is the calmest intro we've ever had and i think it's in part because you're getting over a cold the, <laughs> when i like have... the, vo the volume level is unbelievably just like kind of soft when low, i have yeah taking care of like <laughs> your throat when my yeah your instrument. when my esophagus is all fucked up um the podcast becomes super chill <laughs> I do so chill. <clears throat> like how I sound, but uh, yeah, you sound really good. I'll change it in post, so I sound oh, okay. more like a squirrel. Yeah, but or, uh, auto tune it. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Asian Not Asian Pod. Uh, you can go there, and uh, we do things like uh, Patreon Hangout. We're actually doing one next month. Uh, we slide into DMs, and uh, we give you a shout out on the podcast, and uh, during which we will um, guess your ethnicity. So we got a couple here. These are these are fun ones. Okay. I think this is a fun one. I'm really, um, really good at these. Yeah. Uh, this first one is Lin Meow. Meow? Meow. Um, I think I'm saying it right. Meow. M-I-A-O. I don't know. Um, I think it's Chinese. Chinese. But like a really cute Chinese. Really cute. Adorable Lin. Chinese. Oh, Lin. I like the way that Lin's spelled. With it's kind of like yeah. an older woman, like an older name. Like, like the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Lin? Yeah. Like, like I imagine like curlers. Oh, wow. Is that not it? I think you might be right. Okay. Yeah. I Lynn, like your name, Lynn. You know. <laughs> works in the typing pool. Yeah. You know? Um, like uh, really wavy hair. <laughs> really <laughs> what? Because of the curlers. Okay. Really wavy hair. So yeah, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna yeah. go uh, red nail polish. Ooh, Wong Kar Wai. Yeah. Lin Wong Kar Wai. Meow. Oh vibes. Man. You know, you got a whole thing going on with Tony Leung and, mm -hmm. and you know, it's got a will they, won't they thing. Yeah. Is it in the future? Is it in the past? I don't know. I like that. Oh, sexy. I love it. <clears throat> and then, uh, so you're a um, Wong Kar Wai <laughs> movie uh, Chinese. Chinese. Uh, the second one, Camille Illusorio. Illusorio? That's a sick name. Filipino. For sure. Yeah. When the, when the name is a word that, is just a sweet 
like magician's name. <laughs> to speak you know what yeah, whatever get in. Yeah. Oh, i'm just gonna be like if this e- magician it's a new, a new, a new. <laughs> i was gonna say it kind of sounds like you're like a candelabra <laughs> uh, yes this, <laughs> yeah. this ethnicity is magician well you're i've right. been playing so much dnd i'm like okay is this a nord is this a, <laughs> this is a, this is a tiefling <laughs> okay. this and is, you're I'm right. shut the fuck up again okay. Enjoy, yeah. yes um. gonna, i'll mute your mic i can do it now i have the power <laughs> Um, okay, so this is a candelabra Asian. Yeah, <laughs> you're 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 you are a candelabra. You are a candela- candelabra. You're related to the candelabra that was in Beauty and the Beast. Oh, congratulations! Right? That's so cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, sacre bleu! You know, so <laughs> that's wonderful, and I hope everything is going well in the castle. So, uh, oh, we have to do this thing. Oh, um, okay. So I know every every uh, just hang on tight, Sabrina. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> No, I'm most so freaking out. Yeah, just hang on. Just, just grab on. Just grab just on like, to something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. Chew on some see, leather. I mean, I mean, this, this really cool sweatshirt is actually um one of those suits from the. the yeah. <laughs> what is it called? This is a straight jacket. Straight jacket. <laughs> we put Sabrina in a straight jacket. That's the only way. It's the only way we can get through this. Time in. <laughs> you really went crazy as soon as you said magician. So. Yeah. Spe- speaking of of magic, though. You know, usually we spiral every episode, and so we, you know, we do different things and we, we talk about it. Um, but one thing we've been trying recently is Magic Mind, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, which is this like a little fun little drink. Uh, it's a little shot. A little and, shot. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, Jenny, how's your Magic Mind journey going? <laughs> really great. <laughs> I mean, they actually taste pretty good. Yeah, like, they taste I really like good. No, they do the taste good. The flavor of it. They taste good. They look cool. They look cool. The bottle looks cool. They make you feel cool when you. It yeah. When you drink it. Are you noticing a little like difference when you're like using it? When I'm using? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. When I'm using, I just I don't know. I feel like healthy. Yeah. Energized. I, f- I do. I feel the same thing. I feel like uh, that it it is just something kind of resets you a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think especially now, we all need to have that. So you know you can get a subscription to uh, Magic Mind, um, and you can go to MagicMind.com. But I'm sorry. You can go to magicmind.co slash Asian and use the code Asian20 uh, and you can get um, a little 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 special treat for yourself. So go to magicmind.co slash Asian, use the code Asian20, uh, get yourself a little discount and check out Magic Mind, everybody. Uh, I'm just, you know what? We're just going to jump right into the, the host, the guest. Why are you laughing? It's just so, I feel so chaotic. <laughs> it is a little crazy, partially because of my cough. But. I love it. <laughs> I wanted you. I wanted you to get me some cough drops. I, I would have done that. I know. I feel so bad. I'm. I like. I don't want to make it be like. Hey, can you give me some coffee and some cough drops? And oh my god! You wish. I told. got some laundry. I need you to pick up too. You know what I'm saying? I don't you let me go. <laughs> Are you cough drops. <laughs> so we're just trying to get out, out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I saw my We haven't even right introduced there. the guest, and the guest introduced. is trying and to leave. Guest, <laughs> and the guest is going crazy. Fortunately, we straight jacketed them. <laughs> Uh, our guest is uh, in a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, they're a writer, comedian, performer who has been on FX's Dying for Sex, written for Di- FX's Dying for Sex. Uh, and just recently, recently, I think, got, got, got new faces for uh, Just for Laughs. Uh, you'll see them soon in an upcoming Adele Lim feature uh, that's coming out soon. I'll give it up right now for Sabrina Wu. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? The what do you mean? Sabrina's just, I just suddenly. Said, did I do that? Or should I do it again? Um, <laughs> Try it again. Hey. <laughs> that was, it's me. That was somehow worse. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was like the sexy voice podcast. <laughs> I'm just trying to yes and um, and not disrupt. <laughs> You, uh, yeah. I, I wrote uh, this little bio. I pulled it from, I think, actually from JFL. And oh, yeah. Here, yeah. I was just like, unfortunately, my career is such that, like, I basically everything I've worked on has not come out yet. So it's just <laughs> sort of like, sh- every time someone's like, what, what are your credits? Do you want? I'm like, just, just, just say my name. It doesn't just say matter. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Google right, me Except in for the, the Disney Plus reboot of Doogie Howser. Which, oh, that's right. To yeah. be honest, doesn't give me a lot of street cred in the Brooklyn comedy scene. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> but, yeah. It gives you a lot of cred in the Asian Brooklyn comedy scene, though, I think. You know? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Those people you wrote, love me. You wrote for a doctor, so I think that's important. Oh, true, 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 yeah. true, true, true. Um, it, it is, it is, it is tricky though because I also think that every time I see you, 
uh, you're like, I'm being flown to Bora Bora for another film that I'm been cast in. They're always in Bora Bora. Yeah, that's true. I've never been to Bora Bora in my life. And in fact, I don't even, if you showed me a map, I wouldn't know where, yeah. <laughs> where it is. I think Bora Bora is a metaphysical place that people who own Twitter go to. But I, 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 I do think that you're in a lot of things, you know? I mean, I feel like you got a lot of stuff going on. One thing we want to do, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wanted to uh, uh, ask you to do this, is uh, to kind of catch people up to who you are. I want you to, you know, introduce yourself to our guests, and you got a minute to do it. The trick is you got to use a whole minute. So I listened to Karen Chi's episode, and yeah. she just fully lied the whole time, yes. and that was going to be my thing. But I guess I can't <laughs> do that anymore. All right, I know. So I'll tell the truth. All right, ready <laughs> and begin. Hi, I'm Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> I was born and raised in Michigan. All this is true, I guess. Um, born and raised in Michigan. I um, was a really stressed kid, apparently, when I was like 11 or 10, whatever. I was like ridiculously young, I would say shit. Like, oh my God, I think I'm overcommitted. I was like, really, really? <laughs> my parents like were really like, you need to like, like I, I was definitely like a part of like that kind of like Asian community that was like, really competitive with mm-hmm. each other and like had parents that were like constantly comparing me to other people but unfortunately like I as I now know I I had undiagnosed ADHD so I was really 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 stressed mm-hmm. and trying to like take on a lot and then I'm definitely going to fill this one minute up with only my life as a 10 year old yeah yeah <clears throat> yep yep <laughs> Okay. We're learning a lot. We're learning okay. a lot about this 10-year-old. Sure, sure, sure. Um, you do only have five seconds left. <laughs> and now I'm hot. <laughs> Trans in Brooklyn. And yeah, I mean, that's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Incredible. And that was great. That was great. Yeah. What is, wow. Yeah. To really focus on your 10-year-old kind of moment. I want you to know that every take. meeting I have with someone in Hollywood goes like that. Where they're like, tell us about yourself. And I'm like, so when I was so eight. So I was eight. <laughs> I was overcommitted, right. and now I'm... <laughs> First 10 minutes of me just being like, I was eight years old, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then the next 10 minutes of me being like, wait, was that weird? Is <laughs> yeah. that okay that I did was that? Was that enough? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're, you're doing great. <laughs> Incredible. This wait, is... you're from Michigan. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, Where yeah. in Michigan? Um. Oh, my gosh. I realize now that like this one minute is helpful for you to generate questions, and yeah. now I've given you only one topic. <laughs> It's enough. We'll go so there. You, so you yeah. were ten before. Interesting. Yeah. Tell yeah. Interesting. Tell us about, about that you being experience. ten. Yeah. And to be clear, I said either ten, eleven. I don't even know when exactly. Right. My. But yeah, I'm from Michigan, uh, from Ann Arbor specifically. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Are there a lot of? Is it diverse? It's no. It's okay. not. Like I think objectively, no. Like, like a lot of the neighboring towns honestly have like a lot more people of color, but. There's like because of the university, I think there is like a decent number of like, right. like it's not, it's not, the, it's definitely not the whitest place in Michigan. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, um, yeah, but there were just enough Asian people for us to have like a small like, you know, we would do like ch- Chinese dinner parties right. where like the kids sort of like love hate each other. Yeah, like, yeah there like, you go. I played Bananagrams with a twelve year old time when I was eighteen, and yeah. they were like, oh my god, they were like. You got into U Chicago after I lost. You seem like you have a three point eight GPA. I don't know. Whoa. I mean, just like the layers of like, but do you think that's a bad GPA? <laughs> like, why do you have a horrendous personality? Like, <laughs> wow. You can hear their mom like yeah. screaming karaoke upstairs, oh and I'm like, like, all right, you two have. I'm glad you two have each other. Yeah. Like, I feel oh the gosh. the drama that happens within just one, like, Asian part family party like that is like enough to fill like volumes of books you know because there's like there's the there's the politics happening at the parental level and then there's like a game of thrones level struggle happening at the kid level do you know what oh, I'm saying Oh for sure and imagine being like kind of um an obvious dyke too like, <laughs> oh my gosh like the shit i was getting from parents like it was so charged it was like just some lady being like i've never met in my life being like so you play basketball oh wow. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it becomes so Asian so fast. Like, are you good at it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> my son. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Here god. we go. Uh, well, thank you very so much funny. for coming on the show. We're gonna we're, we just love hanging out, yes. and this is gonna be cool. I, I always run into you because we live in the same neighborhood, mm-hmm. That's and right. um, I swear you give me uh, kind of like um, Adam Sandler vibes whenever I see you because <laughs> you're always in basketball shorts, just like you're holding like a half drank cup of coffee. <laughs> 
and you're like, Whoa. and I'm like, this person's like a famous internet person, but like, but but I just like you're just like, hey, what's going on, Mike? And I'm like, hey, are you alright? And you're like, yeah. That's like that's my whole thing with you. I see you all the time do that. So, <laughs> um, well, now do you have anything to say to Mike? I mean, <laughs> I'm withholding a lot of feelings right now. Fair. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes no, I have gotten the comment from my roommate that I have like some Sandler core like outfits. But, like, it's dope, dude. Yeah, like, Sandler core is cool. To be honest, I'm shocked that it's coming from you, given that I think your whole vo- like your whole your whole wardrobe is Sandler core. Whoa! Oh, I wish it was Sandler core. What, okay, how would you what describe would you, yeah, what you're what doing? What core are you? I am like waspy '90s, uh, cocaine Wall Street on his day off. Oh, war. sure, I can and see that. I'm, I'm a lot of Ralph Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Russian maid. <laughs> Just totally different categories of people. That's my aesthetic. <laughs> I do love that. I uh, I we want to we want to uh, ask. We always ask. Uh, folks um on here what kind of asian were you this oh, week yes. jenny do you want to start yeah i'll start i was um i was a reflective asian when the seasons change which we have officially switched to fall here in new york i don't know where it's like other places but here i swear like overnight it became fall yeah it went from like 70s and now we're like in the 50s to 60s yeah, yeah and it's like sweaters are coming out of the closet you know like it's just happening and every time the seasons change it's like a marker of time and i do have like a moment where i start reflecting on like where we're at in the year and what i've done or like where my life's headed you know just like the concept of time passing and i don't know i didn't spiral i swear to god i say this every week yeah, i either say yeah, i yeah. did spiral you or did or you didn't didn't or didn't or you were very close to spiraling <laughs> i was very close to spiraling <clears throat> so i would say i was very close to spiral yeah, yeah, like yeah. this Hell week. yeah. We should have like some sort of meter. <laughs> yeah. You know how there's like threat levels? Oh, yeah. Like yeah, it should be like, yeah. like Def- Jenny's at orange, like orange. Yeah, Def Con level. 3. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> spiral, spiral Con 3. Um, so I would say that I was like on the edge, just thinking about like, okay, it's September. And it, I started having this moment where I was like, oh my God, it's almost 2023. Yeah. Oh, shit. Which isn't really true, but kind of true. Yeah. Like a couple months away. Q3. Q4. We're, we're heading into Q4, folks. Q- Q4, baby. Um, And so I am kind of in that moment where I'm like taking stock of the year, what I've done, what I like about my life, yeah. like what I feel like I haven't done enough of. Um, And so that's kind of what's happening right now is like kind of having a moment of like feeling like I haven't done enough this year. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which I will, I think I will always think I haven't done enough. Did you set like a, a bunch of goals or no. what have you? I think this year I was like pretty trying not to do that. that you're perfect. There you go. You didn't say goals. I know, any but then I feel before. bad that I didn't set oh. goals. Like it's like this thing where I, if I don't set goals, I feel bad I didn't set goals. If I set goals, I don't hit them. I feel bad that I didn't hit them. Yeah. I love my brain. <laughs> Just like never Jenny, good you're enough. You're gonna be so successful. Just remember okay. that. Thank you so much, Serena. Okay. <laughs> because you torture yourself, you're really gonna go far. <laughs> there you go. But that's yeah, up. that's where I'm at. I mean, like it's fine, but I'm just like thinking about it, and I'm probably gonna overbook myself now. Because this you, will be my reaction, and then I'll burn out. You're gonna like, you're gonna try to like make up yes. for lost time, which I'm kind of doing. Like, I feel very burnt out right now. But like, I you feel like you have a lot going on. I feel yes. This feels like we're supposed to intervene right now. Yeah, yeah. This, and... is, this is Jenny's cry for help. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'll just be like no. <laughs> yeah, and I need you to be like, no, no you're doing a really good amazing. job, sweetie. Like, yeah, you're, you're gonna make really good it. Job. Yeah. I watched your Instagram reels so much while I was in um Toronto. They're so funny. Oh my god, thank so you. I'm yeah. always so anxious <clears throat> that it's like lame. Cause it's, it's just because one person commented that I have two, 2014 BuzzFeed energy, and that comment crushed me. <laughs> <laughs> crushed me. I didn't even necessarily think that was a bad thing. That was the peak of BuzzFeed. Okay, you know? you're right. Oh. That's the peak of new media, baby. Okay, thank you, Mike. I need this positive spin. Like, I need to like have like a chat where I'm like, Buzzfeed okay, I just broke got the paradigm. Yeah. Let's just say that. Okay, what? I'm breaking barriers. Yeah. Quinta now has an Emmy. Yeah. Think about that. Oh my God, I'm Quinta. Whoa. <laughs> you're so good at this. <laughs> just forcing you yeah are. forcing you both to compliment me so i'm just you know working through that i'll do it but you know I'll, i'm sure we'll talk in a couple weeks and i'll be like i'm burnt out asian now you're and this out. will be like the response to to me today all right well uh, stay tuned to the podcast yeah. for the burnt out episode yeah exactly the burnt out asian episode okay mike what kind of asian were you this week you know similar to what you were saying about the uh internet comment i was an internet comment asian mm-hmm. And I made the mistake of like reading some of the comments from my thing. Oh god! And uh, I found one where somebody was. Uh, I, it was on my uh, MTA p- uh, video. 
yeah. you know, where I was talking about that. And uh, somebody was like, this is the least funny thing I've ever seen, blah, 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 blah. On and YouTube? Was, it was on Instagram. Okay. And I saw it and I was like, <clears throat> you know, when you see something like that, you have like a myriad of like instant reactions you want to do. Yeah. A anything from like, I want to blow up the world to I want to never do this comedy ever again. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do any of those things because it, the guy kept commenting on his own comment. He said something like, I've watched this twice now and it's even less funny the second time. And then he said this really interesting thing. He said, I'm 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 broken in bro in Baltimore and I think I'm funny. Funnier than this. I'm broken in Baltimore? Yes. And that that made me go, "Oh, is this guy okay?" Right. So I commented back and I said, "Hey, thanks. Are you a comic?" Yeah. Cuz I was like, "Oh, maybe he's a Baltimore comic." Yeah. And he replies back at, like in like a couple minutes and he's like He's like, no, I'm an aspiring NFL quarterback or something like mean, like uh -huh. that, trying to be like funny. And uh, and then I reply back to him. I'm like, if you want to do comedy, there's a great scene in Baltimore. Yeah. I was like, you know what? If the, I think this guy wants to be a comedian. Right. <laughs> and so I was just like, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, clap back at this guy. No. I'm just going to actually not be his enemy. Yeah. And I'm just going to be like, I'm going, do you need like to talk? I, <laughs> I have this underlying belief sometimes that... Anyone who's mean on the internet is like angry at themselves. Yes. And so I was like, I'm. What if I just was just? I don't want to say nice. What if I was just like, hey, if you want to do comedy? Cool. I'm never gonna stop you. If you think this isn't funny, I agree. It's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why don't you do better? So I was like, hey man, you should go check out some scenes. You know, check out some open mics. And he's like, oh, what, you know, where? And I was like, just Google them. And then also DC has a great Baltimore DC. The scenes are like uh, interrelated. So go and check it out. And then he replies. Hey man, you seem like a really nice guy. I'm really sorry about the comments. <gasps> oh good. I was really drunk, blah blah blah. And I was like, no worries, man. Hey, did you watch it twice for reals? That's great. That's hilarious. I think that's great. So I don't know what it was. I was like, I was I like, I, I turned an internet troll into an internet not troll. That's incredible. And it felt good because this is the energy I want to put out there. I don't want to put out more negative energy. Yes. But I was also like, that was so much work yeah, <laughs> for it me. Is. I had to like, it was like somebody had a bomb. And my way of, di I diffused it by swallowing it. Yeah. <laughs> and like pooping out a beautiful rose or something like that. <laughs> it was just like, it was intense. Right. So, and I, but I did feel, I, I don't like getting into arguments. I don't think that's yes. fun. So, but it was just, it was an interesting thing. And it was, uh, I've done this before. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes, once this other person was doing it and I just commented, you know, like they didn't like my stand up. I was like, hey, if you don't like my stand up, what do you want me to talk about? And then the guy responds like, Hey, I was just kidding around, blah, blah. Hey, you know, I think you, you know, you're doing your thing. Keep going. And I was like, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I think we've talked about this before with like internet trolling. It's like the only, there's no winning. There is no so winning. So the best this thing This was kind you can of the do, closest thing. The I closest feel. thing. Like, I think the only thing you can do is just be really nice and just be like, hey, I hope you're having like an okay day. Like, yeah. It sounds like if you need anything, let me yeah, know. I've I don't done know. that before where I've yeah. just been very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, it's hard to be mean to someone who's nice to you. Yeah. Like, it's just human nature, unless you're just like, I don't know, something's yeah. going on. So it was just like, I don't know. I just was, I just did that. And it, it felt, again, it felt good. But I was like, I can't do this every time this no. happens because that's not my job. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you just can't read it. It was just so, yeah. It was just like an, an, an interesting interaction. And I'm like, glad at least because I have gone the other way when I'm like meh, meh, meh. and then yeah. person that you know you both go into this whole thing right and that's a gross horrible feeling and yeah. it was like a beautiful uh Friday fall and I was like I don't want to start my fall this way no I have on my Adam Sandler outfit and I was like this is this is I want to be just like I want to have positive energy yeah. for fall, you know you want Sandler energy yeah I wanted that positive Sandler energy <laughs> So that's what that's kind of, Adam was an internet Asian, uh, internet comments Asian. Sabrina, what kind of Asian were you this week? Can I just say you're gonna be an amazing dad? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Well, thank you. Watching you like reframe like Jenny, that's some CBT shit. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> I love God. CBT. Uh, that's like my, one of my favorite things. So yeah, how about you, Sabrina? What was uh, what kind of Asian were you this week? Uh, okay, so I. I stayed up till every day this week. I thought about when I was in Toronto, I thought about playing Skyrim. And then when I got oh, home, yeah? I yeah. played Skyrim. Okay. So, you know, um, what kind of white person am I? An incel. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then 
and then honestly, what kind of Asian I am? Like a well-adjusted Asian boy, <laughs> like a really mm. like an Asian boy who is living his best. Yeah, life. <laughs> that's wonderful. Uh, you, yeah. you, you you play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons too? No, I just started. Like, yeah, uh, I'm okay. just excited. I, um, yeah, I have this like new friend named Frank, and he was like a big like improv. He's kind of like a really sweet, funny dork, and yeah. so he was that's like, cool. you should, you would probably love playing. Yeah, D and D. Improvisers and, love D and D. It's so fun. Yeah. And, and I think improvisers would also like Skyrim. Like I feel like it's just like know, free is, exploring what? world. Like oh. I it's just think open it's just ended. like yeah, open ended and like I don't know. Like it's just like imaginative and fun. Yeah. What kind of character did you make in Dungeons Dragons? Oh, I made the most I <laughs> Truly, I, like I was like, oh, which of the categories would make this character the most cursed? And I went with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I made them this tiefling who I think What's is a like, tiefling? I think they're like half. It's I think it's like a cursed person, like is the whole, oh. like, either, like a cursed demon or like half human, half whatever. Oh, they're, like, wow. they're like cursed. Okay. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm that's picking a whole up on thing. a theme that it's cursed. Oh, you know when you were like, oh, you know, every time I see you and you're in these like Adam Sandler clothes, I'm like, yeah, so I was depressed yeah. this year. <laughs> really? I, I apologize, by the way. No, I was I'm trying just... to compliment you. I, I really respect Adam Sandler and you, and I love of Adam course. Sandler clothes. No, if you can't tell, I love injecting chaos. Like, I love, I love seeing beads of sweat fall. I was like, oh, your... you know, because Adam Sandler's the main okay, game. Go ahead. No, you're a te- you're cursed teeth. No, genuinely, I'm like so honored that you even think about my outfits because I know you're a big fashion guy. <laughs> I, I think it's cool. I, even right now, I'm just like I just the. I, I will say he clocks the fits immediately. I do. I always do vibe checks. Okay, mm-hmm. all constantly. So I'm just like, what's the vibe right now? You know, look, not to sound insane, but I I did think of you while I was putting this on. <laughs> I love that. That's what I want. I like, Let's, you know. Okay, so um, you're you're you're, you're a cursed, cursed teeth. <laughs> Like, they think the tiefling is inherently cursed. I'm so sorry to anyone who's, like, a D&D head that I, if I'm fucking this up. Like, I'm brand new to this. And I can drop the F-bomb on this podcast. Yeah. Right? You can do whatever you want. Um, so it's this fucking tiefling. <laughs> and, uh, and then I think I'm also... Oh, and then I... I'm a tiefling warlock. I see. Okay. Ah. So I'm a tiefling, so I'm, like, already, like, kind of, like, a possessed, cursed thing, race-wise. Yeah. And then my occupation is warlock, which means, like, I... There's, like, three ways to, like, practice magic. You can be, like, a warlock. I think, like, a wizard. There's one other thing, but it's, like... And the difference is, like, how you... Uh, how, you magic. how you access the magic. Right. Wizards, reading. Oh, I see. No, I have ADHD. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> not reading not that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. Warlock, they made a deal with some right. kind of, like, like a, demon. Uh, like a demon. Or, um, and I was sort of, like, if I go demon, I think I will feel haunted for, mm. like outside of the game and yeah, so yeah. I went with like there's like another like there's like a great like I went with like I got my powers through some kind of like ancient like sort of hard to pin down morally like force oh, you know yeah. I imagine like like a Zordon kind of like, floating <laughs> head yeah yeah there you <laughs> yeah. go um, so that's who I am in D&D that's cool do you feel like uh, cause I feel you, you I, I, I've, I've never played it yeah. I've created a character and, and my friend was like oh you can have like a I forgot how he said it. He essentially was like a guest spot on his campaign. <laughs> like, like at one point, like his the main party would encounter star. me, yeah. and there would be like some sort of thing that would happen. Um, and I made my and I made myself. Uh, for me, I, I I feel I always make my avatars for games somebody I'm not. So I was like oh. six five and completely bald. Well, I am bald, but. <laughs> You know, like I was really <laughs> jacked and I'd never said anything. I'm like a quiet person, you know, like I'm really quiet and I have a sword and I'm really, you know, like I, no one ever talks to me and I don't talk to them. Mm. And my backstory is I don't talk, you know, like it was something yeah, like that. Can you like, if, like um, if you had to psychoanalyze like why that character came out of you like mm. what would you what would you say i think i've mentioned i feel before on the podcast that i feel i am a i, I try to be like a pleasant person all the time but i i deep down there's a little tiny mean demon that i wish i could bring out sometimes to oh. fight my battles for me do you know what i'm saying mm. and i feel this character was kind of like that where it's like but they're quiet 
Yeah, but just like somebody who's like, don't fuck with me, because I think people fuck, um, fuck people fuck with me all the time because I they think of me being a nice person and therefore I'm fuckable with, you know. So fuckable. that's my you know my counter. <laughs> yeah, <so it's> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, right. so that was me. But you know, I, nice I was and fuckable. nice and fuckable. So, but what about you? So like, where do you think you're in your psycho psycho? analysis? Oh psycho. yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, I think I, I have like, well, one time this, this media, not a medium, but someone who is very spiritual is like, no, you have good energy. You don't seem haunted, but I do feel like I have felt, okay. I, as a person have this, this is a new, okay. Like I feel like I have an insane sixth sense. Like, really? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I just feel, I mean, I'm really sensitive. I'm really anxious. And like, I'm. I sound crazy, but I feel like I just have like I just like get energy like re- like it slaps me in the face, and I'm like okay. wow. I just walk around life being like, "You're gay, you're <laughs> like, oh like I'll walk into like like I'll walk into like a business and I'll be like, this is a front for a cult. Oh, and, like, oh. and I found out that it really was a front Whoa. for a cult and because once I found that, I was like, oh my god. So then ghosts are real. And oh. like, can you I, say what company? No, I can't. Uh, I really can't. Costco. I I'm very um, scared. But isn't that crazy? Like, yeah. I just, like, I, I just get, like... And this has always been the case. Just, think, like, very sensitive. At, at least with a lot... Yeah, I'm, like, super sensitive. And so, like, I think I just feel kind of, like, haunted. And then, mm. oh, and then I think... Okay, so I'm super sensitive. And then I think I'm just, like, this queer Asian person that yeah. grew up in the Midwest. And so, like, I think, like, I would enter space... Like, I think I just always felt really, like... Like, it's hard to... Just, like, haunted. Like, yeah. Or, like, crushed or, like... Just mm. something in the air is like not in my favor. Mm. Oh. Like, yeah. Did you did you ever uh, like talk to any Asian people about that? <laughs> I mean, like, cause cause I feel, you know, like like my mom is she's she's very Catholic, but she would if if she felt there was something happening, she might turn to a medium. Do you know what I'm saying? Like an like a, a Vietnamese medium. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's like things where it's like, oh well, it's because of you know, uh, this happened in the past with your family and now it's carrying around, like you're carrying around like this thing. And I don't know if you've ever like talked to anyone about something like that. But, no, know, but I do believe that some people have like a different sense of things. You know what I mean? Like their pers- their experience is different. Like I have a friend who has like kind of like that type of sensibility. I don't. I'm like dull as hell. <laughs> I'm like walking around not knowing anything going on at all times. You know what I mean? Like I'm just kind of chilling. Like I've always. <laughs> you're walking it. into the cult business. Yeah. And you're like, I'd like, like to I'm buy like, one cult, please. This seems like a good community. This seems yeah. like a yeah. I like that everybody's dressed the same. Here. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like, <laughs> like this hell yeah. looks like a good that company makes culture. My life easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need like, my tires rotated, like, and fully, I will read this like, pamphlet. If there was a ghost, something I would never know. I know that. Yeah. About myself oh yeah you know what i mean like yeah. if there's uh, truly i am living and kind of living there's ghosts all around you life. but you're just like <laughs> la 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 i yeah. don't even notice the ghost totally and then there are people who are like hyper aware of like things like, yeah. happening like energies and things like that and that's just not me so i do believe that there is like that type of sensibility in other people I that i simply don't have i think yeah. it's just like yeah you're just perceptive yeah in... i think i'm higher than average but i'm not like a medium you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Like, I you got some like yeah. yeah yeah but i'm just sort of like oh the hairs on the back of my neck are really freaking out right now. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Can we talk about notifications for a second? Who actually leaves those sounds on anymore? Well, besides that kind, that's another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Whether your thing is vintage teas or recipes for ghee, start selling with Shopify and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of your favorite businesses worldwide. With Shopify, you'll create an online store in your vibe, discover new hey. customers, and grow the following that keeps them coming back. Shopify has all the sales channels sorted so your business can keep growing, from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform, even across social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And thanks to 24-7 support and free libraries full of educational content, Shopify's got you every step of the way. Mm-hmm. It's how every minute new sellers around the world make their first sale with Shopify, and you will too. Shopify makes selling simple so you can put yourself and your ideas out there. Whether your thing is making ebooks or earrings, Shopify makes your success possible. When you're ready to launch your thing into the spotlight, do it with Shopify, the commerce platform backing millions of businesses down the street and around the globe. Go on, try Shopify for free and start selling anywhere. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. 
Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash Asian, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash Asian to start selling online today. Shopify.com slash Asian. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. I wanted to talk about a time when I really got stuck on a problem. It was when I was first thinking about making that big move to New York, and instead of trying to figure things out, like where I was going to live, I just focused on how afraid I was. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when you're under a lot of stress and facing challenges, but a therapist can help you find a better mindset so you can accomplish your goals. I use my therapy experience to help me realize when I'm having intrusive, unhelpful thoughts and to refocus on solving my problems. I use the skills I learned in therapy to this day. I even use them today. Therapy can be like a set of tools I carry around with me everywhere I go. If you're thinking about doing therapy, consider BetterHelp. It's affordable and it's online, which is important because I think anything that makes therapy more accessible is great. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com Asian today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash Asian. All right. But yeah, I think it goes beyond just spiritual stuff. I think this totally. is just like vibe checks on people and stuff. Yeah. I feel like I've just been like, I just have like a, re- oh, I used to be like, I have a really strong gut. And the other reason that I'm a tiefling is that I have like maybe the worst, most cursed self-talk of anyone I've ever met. Like, <laughs> when I, when I would like, to, I, I used to really struggle with dissociation in sure. high school. Like, mm. um, and I would just like really like put on like some really cursed personas. Um, so I, you know. Silver lining, I'm probably pretty good at BDC- BDSM. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have any sort of links to some munches or play parties, I'm looking. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I'm just like, whatever, whatever. Is this too much? No, no, not at all. In fact, in fact, we were going to go further. And because you had mentioned um, you had some strong opinions about Asian people. And it's an open ended kind of question, but you did kind of bring it up. And I wanted to. Okay, yeah, yeah which I could have said, I could have framed that better. I guess <laughs> I have no real, I have not come to any conclusions, but I do, and it's it's really harsh, and it, like, comes from a place of love, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But I just, sometimes, I, it's, I'm painting with such a broad stroke, so I'm just qualifying because, like, everything I'm saying, like, I'm saying is a hot take, and I know that it's, like, it's not nuanced. Yeah. But sometimes, do you ever just get the feeling that, like, some of like our Asian celebrities or like the Asian people in like entertainment, like I think there's a lot of patting yourself on the back mm. morally mm-hmm. for like pushing for Asian representation, which is mm-hmm. important. But I think one morning I just woke up and I was I was definitely crazy, but I looked in the mirror and I was like, it is not morally significant to be like an Asian person fighting for Asian representation. Like oh. or it you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. not it's it's important, but it's like sometimes I'm like I just, and again it's like I can't name a specific person. It's yeah. just this feeling that I get of like, let's just remember that that is a really self centered goal, and there are so many other things that are so important too. Yeah, and I feel like, I guess like from my very limited experience, like just sometimes I'm just like, hey, like, can we think deeper about yeah. ourselves as yeah, people? Yeah, yeah. And right. Like, but I think because Asian representation is like such a convenient, like framed as morally important thing, mm. like yeah. people glom onto it and like don't think about like how like how am I treating crew? Like, am I helping like other other people of color that I should be in solidarity with? Mm. Like, you know, I think like the shit with like it's not good. Like the it, cultural appropriation it's... that like is going unchecked oh, and right. like it's not like Asian people are the only people who do it, but I no, do think yeah. there is like a lot of like I'm just surprised at how much like sidestepping or like defensiveness yeah. and like Yeah, I definitely think I, it drives yeah, me yeah. crazy. I'm yeah. like, we need to be thoughtful yeah. and like mm-hmm. it's a much harder conversation, I feel, to yeah. have than rep- representations like you can just say, Oh, it's important yeah. to see people of you know who look like me on the thing, blah 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 blah. Know, and then we have like shows that you're like, This feels racist as a show. Uh-huh. And also it's like unfair to like put on any one show. Right, like, of totally. course. Of course. Which is not also what I'm saying, but it's just like <clears throat> Yeah, I just think we need to go a lot 
deeper than yeah. that. And it's I feel like it's harder. been really like stunted. Like, I, I think I think I do think that people are ready for that conversation. Yes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I think for a while it was just like I, I hear you. Like for a long time it was just like let's just get some people who look like us up on the screen mm-hmm. no matter what. Mm-hmm. And now there is, you know, more and more and and now I think people are thinking more deeply about it. And I think if anything, it's important as like a comedian or cursed tiefling or whatever to be like, um, you know, represent your culture and community, but then also call out your culture and community like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Cause that, that's whatever, like I get most excited about like talking about Vietnamese people because I'm like, I will ride or die for Vietnamese people. But then also Vietnamese people, we can be some terrible folks. <laughs> like we have some very, there's some very problematic things in the culture. Mm-hmm. And I think it's important to like talk about those as well. And I think now it's like, maybe we're almost to the point where we can start having those things. I don't know. Yeah. I agree. I think, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like it's, it is, I think for a long time, I, just, I was just excited to see someone who was Asian on yeah, screen. Yeah, exactly. But we've, we've gone beyond that yeah. now. And like, we can talk about things beyond. And I do think sometimes we, like some Asian people might use the fact that they're not white as an excuse to be able to, you know, like do things like, well, I'm not white. So I get to whatever. And I'm like, no, we still have to, to like think about what our role is. Yeah. What how where are we in the system? Yeah. What do we need to do better about? And I, I do agree with you there. It's like a more complex conversation. For yeah. sure. And yeah. it's just like not losing sight of the fact that being like, hey, I'm an Asian person who's pro Asian representation. Like it's fundamentally, yeah, I yeah. want more people like me to right. get jobs. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's like great. But that like that doesn't sound that's not the same thing as being like, I wanna like do you know what I mean? Like unionize yeah, or like, right. fight. like yeah. it's just like literally not the same. Yeah, but it yeah. gets talked about like it's the same, and then like, and then I think as a result, there's just so much like, yeah, like like oh, I don't want to like ruin, like I don't want to yeah. like create divisiveness because there's like a huge scarcity mindset of like yeah, well, it's yeah, so yeah, hard yeah. for us, to, like let's not fight amongst each other, but it's like it's so much harder for so many other people oh, too. Yeah, and, like yeah, we need yeah. to actually like like especially on the cultural appropriation yeah. stuff. It's like we need to get our shit together. Yeah. Um, and be really honest and like I think like generous to both sides mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know that's how I feel about some of like you know the stuff around cultural corporations it's like I don't hate anyone or think anyone deserves to be like right t- attacked on Twitter yeah, yeah. yeah yeah but I think it's just like also insane to hear like Asian people in power like who have so much power over like I don't know it's like I, I just like have I don't know. Whatever. It's not important. But no. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is <clears throat> no. It, it, and and my, may I say too that I I, I thought you, you know when you were gonna have some Asian opinions you were gonna have some hot Asian opinion about like we should only use one chopstick. You know what I'm saying? I thought uh, now <laughs> now you're like now you're pulling. I mean this is some you know important we're getting shit. Into it, yeah. This is like, important. I shit. know, but I feel like I'm just sorry. Like it's just such a baby thought because it's like I don't really have any like I'm just sort of like oh I have this feeling and you know no you're all using feel loosely related in my head. Well, I think you're onto something. Yeah. I think uh, I think it, it, it's it's true, and I think uh, there's a lot of times where, for um, you know, like uh, I'll see whatever Asian American project, and it has a very um, respectability sense to it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of like, hey, we're all lawyers, and <laughs> we're all like. Like doing law stuff. This is what I'm saying. Like we're talking magic about things that are, we. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends on that project, so I just. But like, yeah, it's like, me too. I know, and I'm me like, too. Oh, I like, I'm so happy, and yeah. But I think you know, I think I think we do need to. I, I think the big idea is you know uh, this isn't about like tearing anyone down. This mm-hmm. is about like let's have let's 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 change the 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 the, the thing to from. You know, let's just have more Asian people to having this bigger thing about justice and and true representation. Yeah, just thing. like really think about justice. I yeah. think that's yeah, it gets like so conflated. I feel like yeah, and absolutely. It's weird. It's like and it feels totally to. Again, I just barely read, and I am an idiot. Blah blah. blah. But like, <laughs> like and yeah, I still have this like feeling like, like Hollywood and like kind of what's going on in like. But amongst like Asian American like writers yeah. is oh. so disparate. Like oh. the the dialogue that's happening in like literature. Yeah, the very few books I have read <laughs> feel so much more like interesting. Yeah, and absolutely. like it's not because it's not really. It's again, it's not about representation. Right. It's just right. like people just like it's, having it's, things to say. It's not like yeah. 
Yeah. And it, maybe it's like a function of Hollywood being like, you have to pitch your idea to me before, when it's yeah. like, actually, like, can it just be a standalone project? Like, yeah. Just... What's the best part about fall? Mid-autumn harvest festival? Leaves changing? Sweater weather? Well, whatever it is, this autumn, make sure to get your updated COVID vaccine. Protect yourself and others by getting an updated COVID vaccine, especially if you're planning on getting together with family. And if you are 50 or older, you are at greater risk for hospitalization and death, particularly if you have a chronic disease. So get an updated COVID vaccine now. Find out where and more info at vaccines.gov. We can do this. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Yeah, and th- then I think that like that comes into a conversation about like structures of power, especially when it yeah. comes to Hollywood and like what gets what gets made, and that sucks too. I just want to say I I've been stalking the IMDb for like the Sour Heart, like is one of my favorite books by Jenny Zhang, okay. and I know that like it's in production. Like I think it's like slow down, but like I pray to God that gets made because that was like just an amazing mm. book that moves. If, if we're talking like anti respectability politics, yeah. that book is like, yeah, it's just like it's like, like so bodily and like raw and cool and. Are you ever afraid that like something like that, when it gets put through the mm. the grinder of, you know, Hollywood. production, Hollywood production, becomes comes out the other side, not wanting, you know, what I'm saying like losing all the, the rawness, the edge, you know. Oh. Oh, did I just bum you out? I'm sorry. I didn't <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just thinking about it. I, I wasn't worried about it. But, okay. like, maybe just... I think it's, like, the source material. I just, like, can't even imagine. Oh, but then you think about what they did to fucking Death Note. You just, like, cannot <laughs> stop making those, like, live-action Death Notes where you're like, what is Boom. this? How did you do this Thank to you for bringing material? anime into the conversation. <laughs> That's wonderful. Understand well, everything. white incel, well adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing anime. I'm, I've, I'm like on my fifth time watching Death Note this week. <laughs> I haven't seen. I haven't. I've not seen it. I've not seen. I've, I know the premise, but it seems um, too scary for me. It seems like a very Asian, not Asian. Yeah, it's truly. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, that's what this show is all exactly. about. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know you're not Asian if you're not watching Death Note, which yeah, is me. Yeah, I mean, yesterday I rewatched the. Um, video YouTube when all the alphabets sing that's sing Defying Gravity. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh heck yeah! Yeah, I kind of rewatched that, so I'm definitely not Asian. Today. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> we're we're that energy. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm that saying? energy. Yeah, for we're sure. we're best of compilations of of of, <laughs> of Broadway musicals. And, that's me. And then Sabrina and I'm like, is, I don't watch Death No. Yeah, <laughs> Sabrina's like that's my energy. whatever, cursing a tomato and I don't know what I don't know I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, with this. I'm a little freak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one question I I did ask, I want to ask is, you know, I I've um, uh, I we've been on a bunch of shows together, of course, and uh, and and I've you know um, seen you do all these is these cool things, and I always talk to Jenny that I feel you have like this really like great sense of who you are, mm-hmm. like comedy wise, you know, you come on there and like you got your jokes and you got this like this point of view. And you're like unapologetic about it. I think that's the big thing for me, mm-hmm. because I'm a big apologetic Asian. I'm like, I'm so sorry that I'm here, and I always want to know: Do you feel like you have that? And if so, did you work on it, or did you just kind of feel like, you know, this is the space I want to take up? Because for me, I'm a, like, I am so sorry, you know, kind of person. Which again, I wish I wasn't, because I wish that demon inside me could come out sometimes. Mm-hmm. But you know, that's something. That's my thing. I got to work through that. So I wanted to see what you thought. It's so funny that you say that because it's like, yeah, we only know each other through a comedy context, but anyone who knows me outside and for like last, like I say sorry more than anyone I know. Like I say it like people are like, what is like, do you like, do you have OCD? Like it's like, it's so compulsive for me. I feel so, so sorry all Mm. the time. Mm -hmm. And well, thanks for saying that about my comedy. Like that's really sweet. Um, and it de- like it's so sorry sorry mm. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Saying, welcome saying. to like, the show yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like i mean yeah asian people obviously feel so sorry to have ever existed yeah. to ever take up space <laughs> yeah. and like and especially like i was like look i don't have the hardest life ever but like i, I feel i feel like it's not that hard to imagine like if you're like a huge di- like i'm like I mean, I didn't know myself. Like, I only realized last year that I was trans, and I've only recently, like, mm. even, like within the last three weeks, I've started feeling, like, mm. better in my body, like, mm. able to, like, d- 
dance, but all this just, but I do think because I was so outside of the norm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like to be trans and it, like, I always felt not quite right. And I mm. think like, if I had to, like, theorize, like, why maybe I have, like, a really intense voice. Or, like, I've been told I have a pretty strong voice for somebody who's, like, 24. You yeah, know what I mean? Do. Like, yeah, sort of, absolutely. like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. why do you yeah. have thoughts? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and I think it's, like, I just never felt, like, you know, like, if you, if you like, are, I think, a cis white guy, like, you take the world in, like, without questioning yeah. it. And I think uh. I was always, always, and I'm so sensitive, like, I was just always thinking about, like, what's wrong with me? How am I different? Like, what's going on with me? And, like, it's, like, really... And, and I also do have a really big personality that was always being tampered down by, like, yeah. you know, like, like a really intense, like, immigrant Chinese community. Like, they're not exactly, like... Like, one time my Chinese teacher pulled me aside from, like, our room and was, like, someone farted and obviously I laughed. It was a loud <laughs> fart. <laughs> <laughs> the classics. Come on. Literally. Come like, on. Come yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I'm laughing. Okay. He's right next to me. <laughs> That's that not fair. Me in I middle was trying to be school nice. Too. I was trying to yeah. be like, ha like, it's all good. Like, yeah, 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 she yeah, pulls yeah. me inside. She's like, I know you think that like boys love it when you laugh all loud like a boy, but like you actually oh. need to be like, hee, hee, hee. like oh. I was really like. Oh, that's what we were talking about. Asian people don't laugh at comedy shows. I know. That's part of it. Oh my yeah. God, my mom to this day will be like, Why do you like? Joke. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, do you yeah. like laughing? My mom's like, my mom yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. like apparently yeah. like. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. So I mean, I think maybe that's why like mm. I sound maybe a little bit older yeah. than I am when I perform. But I def. I also have been doing stand up maybe longer than people think I have been. Like yeah. I yes. started yeah. when I was in. I mean, and I didn't do it like I wasn't like miking at like sure. sixteen. Yeah. But I definitely like did my first set when I was sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in college, like starting my junior year was like pretty regularly yeah. doing like you know you were again, here i was here yeah. oh yeah for we semester. met like we met when you were still in school and, and I, I didn't realize hair. you didn't live here yeah i didn't live i was doing it but i, I mean my voice was so different that right. it's actually so crazy like since i started dating my partner like jazz like who i just you know i dated a lot of white people who i would say like really did not like it, it took me, like, dating someone who I really loved mm -hmm. and, like, really saw me to be, like, oh, I wasn't, like, being seen at all. Mm -hmm. And, like, I didn't know my... Like, sorry. All this to say is, like, I realized I was trans. I had someone who was, like, close to me that really, like, saw me because I wasn't close to... And then all of a sudden my stand-up got so much better. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. because I just, like... It's crazy to, like, know your gender. You just become yeah. an instantly, like, better yeah. everything. Because right. you're not anxious and confused. I'm not going on stage in a fucking push-up bra being yeah. like, nom, nom, nom. like yeah, 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 yeah. um but it definitely took me a really long time to i don't really feel like i've necessarily found my voice like i feel like sure. even who i am right now is yeah. like literally different than i was three weeks ago because yeah. i just feel more yeah. calm. like right. and i'm sure it'll evolve i think you'll sorry, be like this sorry. for a while <laughs> like i mean i feel like everyone's like this for a while yeah. <laughs> forever <laughs> also like i don't think you seem apologetic like i think you like have a huge stage presence and like also like have a really distinct voice oh thank you so yeah much. thank you uh, um, I do want to ask. Uh, you were talking about dancing. Do you used to, you used to be like a like a like a break dancer? Oh my god! Did you do that? I mean, you were a break dancer? No, 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 no. I mean, I watched a lot of break. Oh, like, I'm like yeah. a self taught. Like, Hell yeah, mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. We should form a crew. You we also were. I can't break. I, I pop. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Strutting Wait. is what it's called. In... You did? I didn't know that about you, Mike. I was a dancer in college. I'm not a very good dancer. But... Did you do like the? The dance like groups. Yeah. Do you know one of the one of the groups on campus is called True Element? Yes. I was like a founding member. What? I'm not. Wait, a good I'm blown away. What? I talk about it all the time. No, well, not to me. Okay. Anyways. Okay. I, I do want to see this. I did see because you have a, a bit where you do some like kind of like uh you know yeah exactly little little <laughs> energy little energy and I was like oh that's 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 not just like you know people kind of like funny do it but I'm like oh no this person practiced in the mirror a lot. <laughs> And I know because I did oh, that too. Oh, literally, I'm insane. Watch this. Oh, like, oh, yes, know? yes, yes. Why do I know how to do this? this That's is so, so good. Stupid. What is that called? It's finger tutting. tutting. It's like tutting. completely useless. <laughs> it's completely useless on your, unless you're ready to post like dancing Instagram reels, which like I'm not. I'm I can't not, even I'm post not. a selfie. <laughs> like, um, uh, yeah, I've, yeah. I, I, uh, I used to have a joke about how um, I spent so much time like, like dancing and trying to dance that, and it is like one of the uh, art forms that like absolutely no use 
for a middle-aged man to have <laughs> you know what i'm saying like the most i'll use is like it kind of is fun for my son to watch me do it so i'll like do it to him and he's just like you know but he also can only see about eight feet in front of him so like that's what it's pretty amazing for him yeah but <laughs> he's loving it he's he like this fan. is amazing but yeah. i've only been alive for five weeks so but uh anyways i just love dancing i just thought it was i was uh, you know i there's it's something like kind there. of a part of Asian American culture. It honestly. is. It yeah, really yeah, is. It totally yeah, is. Yeah. I was always like annoyed that I had no interest in it because I wish I did. I mean, yeah. What? In dancing. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay not to be interested. In I it. know, but I was like, like all the Asian kids in high school did the the dance group, mm. but I had no interest in dancing at all. So You're I would kind like of watch. A good dancer though. I remember Thank we you. Went you to are. You do. But you. Yeah. Together, yeah. And we were. I, Locking eyes yes. across the room, being like, I was why like, is everyone so boring? Yeah, I was like, no one's dancing. <laughs> that is always my good thing. I was like, Serena, thank you for dancing. <laughs> you look like you have fun, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, that's thing. true. I do. I do have a lot of Whereas, fun. Whereas, like, dancing. Sabrina and I are, like, f- finger tutting. Yeah, like, you you're like, this saying, is like, a, yeah, this is a performance. This is a job. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. After, after the last two weeks in, in Toronto, <laughs> I've just been um, shaking my ass. Like, a there creep. Like, I just feel better. Oh, good. Yeah, hey. Yeah, I love. Um... Oh, wait, Mike, can I ask you one question? Of course. Um, do you feel like, because you're not, like, sorry when you're on stage, but, like, <coughs> is it for you like it is for me in the sense that, like, it's, like, I feel like stand-up is, like, kind of a lifeline, like, in the sense mm. that, like, I do feel so sorry all the time and, like, really <coughs> scared to take up space. Mm-hmm. And, like, stand-up is, like, feels like the place where I can do it and not feel like too bad because like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. Um I started stand up because it was the one time where I had the mic alone. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Even when I in, in my and, and you're right, like I I'm not really a person who's like trying to be quiet like at work or something like that. But I feel a lot of times <clears throat> uh and I think a lot of this happens to Asian people a lot. Yeah. Asian women a lot. Uh is um people just talk over you. They just like ignore, straight up just talk over your voice. Yeah. And I was like, uh, with stand up, I literally am the only one with the microphone and I am in control of every aspect of it, mm-hmm. which I, which is what's really powerful about stand up. But what I would say recently is now I feel sometimes with stand up, the art form, it's like it, it, uh, it limits me because sometimes I'm subjected to what the audience sees and then what, <laughs> I, I want to joke around about Dungeons and Dragons, you know, but like it's hard to bring that to the stage sometimes with, you know, just, I don't know, my persona or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it I feel sometimes restrained by it. It's a mm. mind fuck. It it's is. It's such a, yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't even, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like that is a real thing. Like a lot of performers, it's like structure time where you have to be the center of attention. Yeah. And you get to just say whatever you want. You can want. say whatever you want, yeah. So I understand why people are drawn to it, especially if you're quieter and like maybe don't, aren't able to do that day to day. Yeah. It's like this place where you're allowed to, if not expected to do that. Yeah. But um, I feel but I feel there's a perception that you can say whatever you want, but actually you cannot. Yeah, I mean, you, totally. You're, you're uh, I mean, I'm not even talking about like, you know, like being PC or something. I'm saying like as a thing, like, you know, you there's like expectations yeah, there's and, a, yeah. and stuff like that that it's hard to explain but like yeah. I, I feel constrained by those things yeah. sometimes so. I also feel like yeah. no go ahead I, mean, like, I feel like you can talk about D&D but not, I say this not to like invalidate it's like mm. it is a mind fuck yeah. it's a mind field and it's like it's a really depressing challenge Like, and mm. I think that's part of the draw is like how can I it's really it's like it's kind, it's like it's like oh it's my lifeline but it's also depressing because yeah. it's like for sure for sure like I get on stage and I'm like, wow, I can finally prove to people that I'm really interesting and that, yeah, I am a dork, but like watch me make everyone like love how insane I am or dorky I am. Whereas in the past, like, yeah, I'd go to basketball camp and like people would just straight up like, you know, just like, oh my God, this happened so many times where I'd be in like a, like a table with like all white people and they would just be like, Hey, where are you from? Oh, cool. Where are you from? Like, look at me, and then literally move past really? me. Really? It like happened. It, oh, yeah, there was a yeah, summer yeah. when I went to like four basketball camps, and I like was so like emotionally. Again, I'm really sensitive, so I was like, right. I just picked up on all of it. It was like scarring. Mm-hmm. It was like anytime 
you know, we had to move from, like, one location to the other. You, like, walk in a line. It's all new strangers. And, like, I would just watch everyone else coupled together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was yeah, always yeah. the one that was, like, Yeah, I was alone. always. I felt like that, too. Right. Always. It's, like, yeah. you just... Everyone's doing, like, quick social math. Yeah. And it's, like, Asian kid, out. Yeah. Especially, like, a place that's charged as basketball. It's, like, right. obviously this kid sucks at basketball. And it's, like, you know, and... Oh my god! I would. And anyways, sorry, sorry. There's no. just always this loud. Oh, nothing would drive me crazier than like an Aryan woman being <laughs> called upon to speak, and she'd do this thing where she'd be like, <gasps> and then this, oh, I can't finish, I can't finish, and then everyone's like, oh, she can't finish, and I'm like, you know who could finish the fucking joke? I could finish a fucking joke. If you let me fucking talk. <laughs> and I think that that energy is yeah, yeah, um, something I never. That's what we're looking sorry for. Sorry that yeah. I rambled, but no, yeah, no, like no. I, I'm sorry that you feel constrained by. It's okay. Yeah, um, it's it's nice to it's nice to talk about it. Yeah, you know, I think yeah. it's it's uh, it's it's cool. There is uh, there is one a uh, uh, last question here. So, um, you still ball, ball a lot? Yeah. Um, I will sometimes play pickup with like the like elementary school kids like that I live near. Oh, okay. that's very sweet. That's cool. Yeah, it's so sweet <laughs> I think that I sweet. don't hold back at all. No, you don't? <laughs> no, I'm like about to throw up. <laughs> and they're not that good, I'll be honest. <laughs> Wait, are they, do you, when you walk by now, are they like, no, like you're yeah. not allowed. Yeah. You're banned. Sabrina's very <laughs> no, no, Sabrina no, no. keeps kind of just keeps, like crushing She's always, she's always us. dunking on all yeah. of the second graders. No, no, they always want to play, but they're always so shook that I'm like, Whatever, the, the, it's really uh, me and my partner play with them, and I watch this boy like discover non-binary. Like, yeah. Oh. He was like, he was watching me shoot, and then he was like playing with me, and then he was like, and obviously I'm not a girl, but he was like, wait, you're a girl, and I was like, oh, what? Well. <laughs> like uh, longer conversation. I'm, like, I'm non-binary, and he yeah. was like, okay, and then my partner came, and the boy stopped the game and was like, stop, 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 stop. Like just silently walks over to my partner. Yeah. And we're like, what's he doing? And he just like stares at their face and is like cool okay <laughs> cool. be like okay two of them <laughs> okay, there's two okay um that that kid just uh was started the day playing basketball but yeah. just had their mind just opened up yeah yeah you know it's now a gender theory yeah yo yeah for sure <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up okay well um thank you for stopping by yes thank you for doing this this was a fun journey yeah honestly this I'm was cool. sweating. Are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. well, hopefully I just got into. I have yeah. hypothyroidism. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll have to have you. We'll, we'll talk about that next time. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's an sure. important topic we need to cover. Thanks um, for having me. I adore the both of you. Am oh, I talking too much? I'm no, no not you're at all. supposed to. And uh, but you know where where can our fans find uh, you and your work? Oh Maybe my gosh. Um. Yeah. I guess you can follow me on Instagram. You can also follow me on Twitter, but I don't really tweet much. Um. But both of my handles are at a. A Sabrina Wu couldn't bring myself to be the Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Asian in me. Yeah. That was like, yep. um, and you know, I've got a uh, Dying for Sex hasn't come out yet, but it's gonna be an amazing show. Uh, you know, keep your eyes out for this untitled Adele Lim movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, I might be on an FX show. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. If you love queer shit, queer sci-fi shit. What? Okay, so that sounds awesome. Yeah, either like. <laughs> Nothing happens, or I have a really, really like, or yeah. I hit 10k followers maybe <laughs> Yo, in two years. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right, okay. check that out. Uh, you can always uh, check out the podcast on uh, social at Asian Not Asian Pod. And you can find me on Instagram at Nice Pants Pro, and I'm at Jenny Arimoto. And uh, just be sure if you ever comment on any of the stuff uh, that we put out there that you may engage with a very friendly. <laughs> Mike Nguyen, yes. who is trying to build you up. So that's all. And uh, in the meantime, <laughs> threat. <laughs> in, in the, yeah, that's a threat. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, be cool, everybody. <laughs> what? That's really nice and soothe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>